luck. Are you serious? That's the fifth time I smoked you chumps with that same shot. All right, fine. Incredible beginner's luck. You happy? Yeah, let's keep going. Match point. <clears throat> Watch and learn. Bring the noise. Two out of three? We don't have that many ping pong tables. You're gonna get it. It's so cool that your mom works at a radio station. Good evening, St. Louis. This is the Groove MD, and I got your prescription. Bust the moves and call me in the morning. Huh? Stick with the studies, sweetie. It would be so cool to work here. My mom loves it. Oh. Hey, this place. What happened? Gretchen, the host of Women on Sports, quit. And the station manager says he's going to cancel the show. Why? Management doesn't believe women have anything worthwhile to say about sports. That's terrible. It's insulting. When are we going to eat? If only I could find a replacement host for tomorrow's show, I could buy some time to gather support. Hey, I heard Dr. H, the Groove MD, is available. Mom, why don't you just do it? Me? Host a radio show? Why not? Honey, I, I, I don't know. Morgan's right. You have on-air experience. Kate, it was 20 years ago, and I was host of Breakfast with the Go-Go's. Mom, you know a lot about sports, and you're really good with people. You know, maybe I could do it. And Aunt April, you get two extra gummy bears for being both the temporary host of Women on Sports. Cheers. <laughs> Congratulations. You're going to be great. I'm going to cover all the top athletes. Bobby Orr, Joe Namath, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Um... Wow, that's great, Mom. But why don't you talk about more current athletes? Like who? Grant Hill, Tony Hawk, Travis Pastrana. I hope you're joking about those names, because if you're not, I'm in a lot of trouble. Well, maybe you can just talk about the pennant race. It's still baseball season? Oh, Mom. Hello? Anybody home? I've got some great news. Hey, guys, put the camera stuff down. Hi. Hey, hon. Hi, Daddy. What? What is all this? You making a movie? Oh, yeah, it's about Nick and his schoolwork. It's called Mission Impossible. <laughs> huh. No, seriously, what is all this? Lighter Than Air Sports is producing a public service announcement at Granite Park tomorrow for the St. Louis Library. And it's starring none other than St. Louis slugger, Jim Edmonds. Should I have heard of him? Mom, I think you better study a sports page. Lots and lots of them. I'll help you. Hillary, you better put on some coffee. Man, we are in big trouble. Why? She doesn't have a clue. It's going to be embarrassing. <laughs> it's going to be a disaster. That sounds like fun. What time is it on? That's cold. What can I say? There's comedy in failure. You know, the agony of defeat. Don't listen to him. She'll do okay. <sighs> no, she won't. We talked her into this. But at least I can help her get a little up to date on some current athletes. <laughs> Probably useless. How do you know? You can't predict the future. <laughs> Believe me, this is one future I'm certain of. Hey guys, where's Morgan? Uh, bad homework. homework. Bad homework. But you just just tell her to come and help me study. Is that Randy Johnson? Yep, that's him. What's going on? This is Graham Park? And it looks like Uncle Larry's public service announcement, but that's not till tomorrow. Can I see that paper a minute? The Sunday final? It's tomorrow. The jersey taught me one day in the future. Okay, here's a good one. The Houston Oilers moved to Tennessee and became the... There's no more Houston Oilers? 
Oh, this cramming is useless. I, I can't update 20 years of sports knowledge overnight. Oh, I sure wish Morgan was here. Where is she, anyway? You can do this. Let's try a different tactic. Today's athletes are very controversial. You could do about three hours on that. For example, what do you know about Dennis Rodman? He wears dresses. Doesn't count. Even I knew that one. Hillary, we're trying to be positive here. What do you know about Anna Kornikova? Um, also wears dresses. And? Matching shoes. <laughs> I'm hopeless. Oh. <laughs> if this is tomorrow, then why is Randy Johnson here and not Jim Edmonds? And what's Aunt Kate doing here? Where's Uncle Larry? Uh, Mr. Johnson, I'm sorry my husband couldn't make it. He was so looking forward to this. Is there any way we could have a shot of the two of us? He'd get a kick out of it. Sure thing. Why don't you stow it to the plate? We'll get some action shots. Sounds great. Come on, swing one. Let's see what you got. Swing? Seriously? Give it your best swing. Like the killer chance forehand you've got. Yeah. How do you know about my forehand? Um, you've just got that killer forehand look, I guess. All right. Let her rip! I'm so sorry. Are you all right? I think it's broken. But that's your pitching hand. Morgan, what happened to you? Where'd you go? What's wrong? We have to get Uncle Larry to cancel the spot tomorrow. We can't let Aunt Kate break Randy Johnson's hand. The jersey jumped you into tomorrow? Yes, and it was a complete disaster. We can't let it happen. Something's wrong. My dad's doing a spot with Jim Evans, not Randy Johnson. I know. And I repeat, my dad's doing a spot, not my mom. Nick, I know what I saw. I find this all very intriguing. You're telling us today you jumped into tomorrow. Now you want us to alter a situation that isn't supposed to happen to a person who's not even supposed to be there? Now, do you want us to prevent tomorrow's event today or tomorrow's event tomorrow? That part, I'm not clear on. Will you please stop? The stuff is making my head hurt. So does dividing fractions. You guys, we have to prevent this from happening. Randy Johnson's career may be over. Morgan, you can't mess with the future. No one knows how things are going to happen. You can set into motion a chain of events that can get so out of control. You could possibly end life on this planet as we know it. I'm not trying to end anything or anybody. I just want to save Randy Johnson's career. This makes no sense. Maybe you're having some kind of weird hallucination. Nick, you saw me jump. Where do you think I went? I don't know. Maybe the jersey jumped you into someone else who was having a hallucination. Believe me, I was there. I even saw the sports page for tomorrow. Diamondbacks are going to beat the Cardinals 5-4, to four, 10 innings. I just don't buy it. It doesn't add up. And I'm not going to mess this up for my dad when the real truth can mean you're nuts. Morgan's right. Diamondbacks 5-4 in the 10. Now do you believe me? you got to admit, this is free. Okay, but what about the rest of it? Why wouldn't my dad go to his own shoot? <laughs> I think I just coughed up my pancreas. Dad, why aren't you dressed? Aren't you going to that filming? Oh, no. The only place I'm going to is up to... He's up to bed. <laughs> so the whole thing's off? No. Your mother is going to be covering for me for the shooting. <laughs> hey, it's getting freaky. Oh. Oh. Hello? Oh. Oh, no. Jim Edmonds is sick, too? <laughs> Who are you going to get? Oh, yeah? Really? We got Randy? Randy Johnson? <laughs> That's it. I am officially freaked out. Okay, 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 Morgan. Maybe you're not that crazy. At least not about this. 
But what are we going to do? I don't know what we can do in three hours. But we can't have Aunt Kate and Randy Johnson on the same field at the same time. Are you sure my daughter isn't here yet? Are you pointing for a reason? Uh, of course you are. I I'm, I'm on the air. Um, hello, uh, and, and welcome to Women on Sports. I'm your host, April Hudson. Let's go right to the board. Line one, go ahead. Yeah, April, uh, I was wondering who was your pick for this year's Heisman. I'm sure it will be a college player. And a good one. Probably the best in the country. A and you can take that to the bank. What? What is the emergency that you call me down from my deathbed? You can't let Mom do this shit with Randy Johnson. You have to do it yourself. There's only one person Randy Johnson wants to deal with. You. Oh, come on. He doesn't even know me. Are you kidding? Don't underestimate your rep. You're a lot bigger than you think. Can't you guys see that I am extremely sick? <coughs> Are you kidding? It's all in your head. In my head, I've got a 103 degree temperature. I've got the chills and I feel nauseous. If you don't go down and see Randy Johnson personally, then something might happen to him. You would never be able to forgive yourself. You're not sick. You look fine. You've never looked so good. No, I'm sick. You're fine. I'm sick. I'm... Oh, no, 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 Nick, Nick, quick, quick, quick. Nick, quick, help me to the bathroom. That would be the last time I sit on that couch. Mine, too. Go ahead. Hey, uh, help us settle a bet. Who do you think is the best point guard in the game? Of basketball? Uh, yeah. Um, let's go to a commercial. If I were you, I'd line up a lot of commercials. What are you doing here? Why aren't you at the radio station? Oh, no, I totally forgot. So you've got to go down there and cover for me. Me? The most I know about sports is... Andre Agassi looks cute in tennis, sure. Well, just fake it. Come on, my mom really needs support, and I can't be there right now. Here, use it. It's a sports almanac. She's gonna need all the help she can get. And that's why, for my money, baseball is the best sport there is. Uh, unless, of course, uh, you like football. Or, or, uh, something. Uh, well, we'll be right back after the commercial. We'll be right back after something. I don't care if it's the Star Spangled Banner. So who is that frowny guy? That was the station manager. I'm cooked. No one's called in the last half hour. If you don't mind my saying so, Anne April, I was listening on the way over. And I think I know what the show's missing. Hillary. You're too nice. I'm serious. Just disagree with everybody who calls. No matter who they are or what they say, just tell them they're wrong. I don't get it either, but... That's the way these talk shows work. The nastier they are, the more people love them. Well, that's all well and good, but how am I going to disagree when there aren't any callers to disagree with? Hold that thought. Hi, can you connect me with Randy Johnson, please? This is an emergency. It's his agent. Um, his other agent. His woman agent. What? Oh, I see. Um, no, no message. It's too late. He's already left his hotel. Oh, man. Nick's mom is going to be there. Randy's going to be there. Hey, why didn't I think of this earlier? Aunt Kate. We'll call on her cell phone, and we'll tell her that Uncle Larry canceled the whole shoot. Great idea. We'll say that, you know, she should just leave right away and not even talk to Randy Johnson. Hello? Hello? 
I don't think this is gonna work. Uh, okay, we're back. And we have a caller. Yeah, April? I just wanted to say that I think Mark McGuire is the greatest home run hitter ever. Are you kidding me? He's a bum. Now, Hank Aaron, there was a hitter. Was Nick able to get Uncle Larry to go to the park? No. All Nick did was wind up changing his clothes twice, and now he's barfing all over the floor, too. Okay, it's crunch time. We've got to get down there. Call Elliot and tell him to meet us at the park. We have to make sure Aunt Kate never picks up that bat. Finally, where have you guys been? Kate and Randy Johnson are already on the field. But I'm not sure if the catcher is today's catcher or yesterday's Morgan, whether or not I'm even here right now. But something is about to happen any second. Oh, it's me now. Do you realize what a significant moment this is? You are actually witnessing your own jump. It boggles the mind. Elliot, we don't have time for this. We've got to get to the field. Let's go. Hi. My Aunt Kate is out there, and I really need to go out and see her. So... Sorry, kids. This area is restricted. But my aunt, she's out there. I... Sorry. No credentials, no entry. But... Give me any trouble, you have to leave. I'm sorry my husband couldn't make it. He was so looking forward to this. Is there any way we could have a shot of the... Give me a second. The, he'd get a kick out of it. Sure thing. Why don't you stow it to the plate? We'll get some action shots. Greg, we have to do something. Any second, she's going to pick up the bat. Okay, quick. Morgan, what exactly is the next sequence of events is you best remember. Okay, um... Aunt Kate steps up to the plate, and she takes a pitch. Johnson tells her to swing at the next one. But then there's a scuffle in the crowd with security. She turns to look at them, and bam! Elliot, stop wasting our time. I've got to get down there. I don't care if I have to crawl over the security guard's back. We're getting through. Okay. Take the pitch. Scuffle with security. Turns to look. The scuffle with security. That would be... Morgan! We may have to sign you up. Guys, it's okay. It didn't happen. Because we didn't let you scuffle with security. Wait, I was the disturbance to the crowd? Why would the jersey do all this? I don't know. But I know one thing for sure. You sure can't predict the future. Well, except for me, because I just figured out the whole thing. Hey, all I'm saying is lose the referee. So named them. I mean, the game would be a whole lot more exciting without them. You did so good, Aunt April. I can't believe it. Whoa! Neither can I. And Hillary, I am having the time of my life. Pass me some of that popcorn. No, this party. Oh, yeah. yeah. Miss Hudson. Uh, yes, sir. Congratulations. My wife just called and said that this is the best show we've had on the air, ever. Really? So, uh, that means women might know a thing or two about sports after all? No, but it doesn't matter to me, as long as people are listening. Good work. Excuse me, Mr. Johnson. I was wondering if you could do me a big favor. Okay, we have time for one last call. Go ahead, caller. Hello, April. This is Randy Johnson. No, you aren't. Excuse me? What a poser. He didn't even sound like...
like a baseball player. Single-handedly saving Randy Johnson's career. What really happened? Basically what he said, minus the over-the-top adjectives and self-hype. I still can't believe the jersey holds the power to jump us into the future. Everything you said was going to happen didn't. Randy Johnson didn't get hurt. Your mom did great at the radio station. What does that say? Maybe the jersey's trying to tell us that the future's an open book. And that we hold the power to decide what tomorrow should be. If that's true, then I think every tomorrow should be Sunday. With five great NFL games on. And no homework due. Coming up next, he's green, he's 13, and he's out of this world. Save some space for Lloyd in Space, here on Disney Channel.